Welcome back friends. Today we're going to use mesh to make a simple vein pattern on another one of these D7s. This is the first D7 that I'm going to paint from Fishhead Custom Lures. Uh, if you missed my unboxing video from them, uh, you should check that out. We're going to use mesh to make our vein pattern today. And there's all kinds of different mesh and different things you can use to make a vein pattern. This is a roll of fabric I bought off of Amazon. It's something similar to what I'm looking for today, kind of a spider web pattern, just an irregular, irregular pattern. Um, something different from the hexagon and octagon shapes that we used to make the scale patterns in one of our previous videos. This is the tape. I think we used this once before. I don't think it shows up real good on camera. It's too shiny, but again, and just an irregular pattern. You can pick this up in the craft section at Walmart. Works well. <clears throat> Another thing that works good and makes kind of a kind of an irregular pattern uh, is these dish scrubbers that you can get. You can just un unweave these and un unwind them, and they they're good. They make a nice pattern. But what we're going to use today is this. This is a piece of fabric that I found wrapped around a flower pot at the dollar store. And <clears throat> I like it. It's got kind of a, an irregular spider web pattern again. It's a little heavier material. I'm kind of interested in that. So today we're going to try it. Notice it came with its own pine cone. I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. But so <clears throat> I have already painted a black base coat on this D7. So we're going to start with a black base coat today. And let's go ahead and get this thing wrapped in our mesh. Just like we have before, we're going to start up here at the bill. Get it clamped down. And then we'll pull it tight toward the back. And again, when we're using mesh, we want to make sure and get it tight. We want to make sure that we just don't get paint underneath our mesh. So we'll pull and clamp. And just keep pulling and clamping until we get this thing nice and tight. One of my viewers commented the other day that he always had his eyes open for different things he could use for mesh and wraps on his lures. Um, and, and I encourage you to do that. Be creative. C keep your eyes open. Make your, make your lures your own. There's a lot of pre-cut stencils out there that we can buy. Um, and they work great. But... I like to make my lures my own. I like to be creative. So now let's go ahead and give this a white base coat over the top of our mesh. Let's heat set that and come back with a second coat. There may be some areas here on the belly where all these clamps are that we can't get paint to, but that's okay. We'll, we'll fix that in the end if that happens. Let's 
heat set again. I'm just going to blow this paint off on the bait. And heat set one more time. Make sure that black's good and covered. Now we're going to use Fire Tiger colors. So the first color I'm going to use is fluorescent yellow. Turn my pressure down just a little. I'm just going to kind of paint the side of the bait with fluorescent yellow. And I'm going to heat set this. We're using opaque fluorescent colors. I don't really want them to blend too much, so I will heat set between colors. <coughs> Rinse the brush out. And use a fluorescent orange. Again, this is fluorescent orange from Createx. Now I want to concentrate on the belly of the bait, about the bottom third. And again, if you can't get right up underneath all those alligator clips, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll fix that in the end. We're going to heat set. Want to rinse our brush out. And now fluorescent green from Createx. Now we're just going to concentrate on the back, right on the spine. Let just a little bit of overspray come down the sides and cover up some of that yellow. And let's heat set this again. Okay, let's go ahead and get our clips off of here, take our mesh off, and see what we ended up with.
Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I like that. We do have a little a few spots down here where we didn't get didn't get paint because of our alligator clips, but that's okay. I think we'll take just a little bit just a little bit of orange and just we're just going to touch that up a little bit. So I'll rinse the brush out. Add a couple drops of orange. Back my pressure down. We don't want much paint here. Just a couple of these. Let's just touch them up. Don't need to pull back on your trigger very far. Just, just like that. Let's heat set that again. Rinse our brush out and add a little bit of opaque black. Just a couple, three drops should be about all we need here. Turn our pressure way down. to do here is I want to get the eye sockets I want to get the nose black Might do just a little black right down here under the throat. Just a little bit of black right here on the tail, on the underside of the tail. I like that. Okay. Let's heat set that. I have some red eyes I want to use for this.
I think the red <clears throat> I think the red goes well with the fire tiger colors. And that's how we do a simple mesh pattern. We could call this a meshy tiger or a fire tiger mesh. I'll put some clear coat on it and we'll call it good. We'll take it fishing. Thanks for watching. Happy painting, happy fishing.